Welcome back to Doing Life Radio. I'm Sam. And I'm Joyce. We're a married couple living in South Jersey talking about all things life with a special focus on food, fitness, and faith. And today we're taking a left turn. Yeah, I mean... It's in the ballpark. Yeah, I mean, I guess <laughs> faith in your fellow man is more of what we're talking about because oh, I don't think it's necessarily it. a face faith-based company that we're right. going to talk about today. But it's a but, great message. But it's a good message, it's yeah. It's a really good message. I don't even want to reveal it in this opening. Okay. Let's wait for them to kind of get to it. Get to it in the show. A little bit later, yeah. All so right. uh, basically, you'll know about it because if you've seen this, uh, our Instagram post or our Facebook post, you'll see all the tags there. But uh, hey, like, share, uh, comment. We're all in on that. We are on iTunes, Podomatic, Spotify, Google Play, Google Podcasts. Actually, I just learned recently that it's not called iTunes. It's called Apple Podcast now. So that's just a marketing Apple thing. Apple people I learned are so about. fancy. And if you're watching us and you see us on YouTube. So <laughs> uh, that's it. So we're going to jump in. We have another guest. We love having guests to, yeah. to talk to. And I think this is going to be one of those like really encouraging podcasts. I hope so. Okay, so we got another guest. We love having a guest, actually. I don't, we used to do it just kind of us all the time. And then right. we started with one guest, two guests. And now we love having a guest well, on the show. Like, trades, I like doing trade it. Trade secret way. if we bring a guest in, their friends are going to listen to it. More people listen to it. So, as far as well, podcast I guess that's promotions, true. It's a good that, thing. Yeah, but I don't really care about no, that so much. I like, we don't care about it, but know. we have more. I find fun. we learned so much more about our friends than we knew. Oh, yeah, because it's amazing. You put them in front of a camera or something like that, they start revealing all these secrets. Yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> and, we, oh, great. and today <laughs> we're going to learn some secrets from this is this is an unusual friend. Yeah. Like, so we literally have seen Melissa grow up. Yeah. I mean, literally. I can't remember. When, do you remember the first time? I think I was like. 12. Yeah. Were in, it was like a VBS when yeah. we met you. It was yeah. a vacation Bible yeah. school. It was a themed vacation Bible yeah. school. So we had... Uh, yeah. What was it? Was, I was uh, tr- uh, Neftali. That's, that's what right, it was. That's what it was. Yeah, right. yeah. We had the whole Israeli yeah. uh, tribe. I wasn't there. The, I, I don't know what there. you're talking about. No. <laughs> and uh, interesting fact, Melissa is a triplet. Yep. Mm-hmm. So you don't meet many triplets in life. Yeah. So it's that's fun. It's, fun. <laughs> it's always Is it fun. fun though? It's a fun fact. It's a fun it, fact to say fact. when people yeah, are like, "How many people are triplets?" Not many Not people many. are triplets. No, but so. she's the third that has our heart. Yes, yeah, she's we a triplet. That owns it. She yeah. owns it. Yeah. yeah so, so what do we call her? Like, so I know when she grew up, we called her Melissa, and then she'd help out in children's ministry, and they call her Miss Melissa. Miss Melissa, and I have always and, called her Miss <laughs> Melissa since then. And, Although she worked with me at the salon for a couple of years. That's what I'm saying. And and at the salon, it. she was Lissa. Mm-hmm. You still call me Miss Melissa. But I still called her Miss <laughs> yeah. Melissa. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. She will always be Miss Melissa. Yeah. Is it? So it, let's inter- let's formally introduce her. All right. So this is Miss Melissa. <laughs> I'm Miss Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, because I had young kids who, and you were their Sunday school teachers yeah. at one point. So we always referred to you as Miss Melissa. Yeah. And it just seems very fitting because you're kind of an old soul. <laughs> I mean, you're very I know, young. That's I am. A great but she's favorite. just no, an she old, does. like she looks like a Miss Melissa. She does like, look like a Miss Melissa. You should reference she's... her with a little bit more. Um, English accent. Esteem. I don't know what the <laughs> word is. <laughs> she's, yeah, she That's looks great. very proper. Like she's very proper. No, she's always been. She a always wears a cardigan. Yeah. Another fun fact: she's a triplet, and she always wears a cardigan yep. every single day. It doesn't matter what the weather or the uniform. That's, That's true. true. It's we're in the end of August, and in I'm the middle like, of August, and you're. But it's a like 103 degrees. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. She's wearing her summer cardigan. It's my summer cardigan. My yeah. Summer yeah. cardigan. <laughs> That's what it is. Do they sell those? Like on the rack? I don't know. I think I had to search them on Amazon. They don't have. Yeah. Yeah. Like the internet the has Melissa broken. special. Right. But okay, okay, so let's really introduce this poor girl. Yes. So we She's met Melissa when she was twelve ish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We saw her grow up. She came up through our youth group. Um she actually came to work at the salon that I work at for several years, and that's where we kind of went from being like kid and leader to being like girlfriends. Mm-hmm. She is my coffee buddy. We love <laughs> meeting up at Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts or just at the house for a cup of coffee and just to catch up on life. Mm-hmm. Um, she's just kind of that girlfriend you can sit down with and chat about anything. So if you don't have a most Melissa in your life, I am sorry for you. Oh, yeah. That's what an introduction. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. great. I'm flattered. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, Melissa does work with an organization that yeah. Sam knows nothing about. Right. So that's going to be exciting. I know what the title is. I kind of know the gist of it, but I don't know enough. So this is going to be really yeah, fun. Yeah, we decided to keep I'm, him as much in the dark. And yeah. I really don't know a ton about it. Just what I see on social media. Mm-hmm. We decided let's let's 
talk about it on the show. This is great. Awesome. Yeah, this is this is uh, life stuff. So we knew Melissa's Melissa Ackley. She is now Melissa Diaz. Diaz. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mrs. Diaz. Yeah. And we love Will too. We don't really know him as well. Yeah, he's he, all right. He stole, he's a good guy. He stole Miss <laughs> Melissa away from us. So he did. There's a little grudge there, I guess. <laughs> But uh, that's exciting. So we're talking about the organization called... So Worth Loving. So Worth Loving. What a yeah, great... That is a mm-hmm. great title. It is a great title. And I think that probably sums up the whole lot. So let's get into the basics. What yeah. is So Worth Loving? So, so first of all, So Worth Loving is based in Atlanta, um, but it's an online organization. Um, so what they do is they create apparel um, and they use that apparel to remind people of their worth. Oh, so that's, so that's the cool. the gist of it. So um, they're based out of it. Let's sidetrack. Yeah. I, I love that's my job. That, that's what he does. Have you been to Atlanta? I have multiple times. Yeah. yeah. Did you have you done any sightseeing down there? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you go to the square where you have like the Coke plant and no. then the college football? You so you haven't done any sightseeing. No. He just went to oh. Atlanta. So. <laughs> oh, I went to I see, Atlanta yeah, recently. No. I yeah. loved it. It was yeah. so much fun. I love Atlanta. I, I, if you haven't been, next time you go, go to the aquarium. Have you been to the aquarium? I have. Yeah, I've been to the aquarium. And you saw that giant yeah. piece of glass. Yeah. I, mean, I sat there for forever just staring at this thing. It's the most beautiful thing. If you ever get to Atlanta, go to the aquarium. And I think we had friends recently, mm-hmm. uh, Rachel and her Rachel family. Rachel and Mark went, yeah. I don't think they went to the zoo or the aquarium. I don't think they did. Um, nope, I don't they know. did not take my advice. They didn't go. And if you're listening right now, <laughs> shame for shame. You're so, a little offended, huh? I'm <laughs> totally offended. I, they said, "What should we do?" And I said, "Whatever you do, <laughs> go to the aquarium. Go to the aquarium." Well, they made. had a whole family, so they, they no, probably had to take a vote. What they did is they told me where where I stand. All right. Anyway, <laughs> so worth loving. So worth apparel. loving. They obviously have a you know mission to tell people that they are worth while mm-hmm. yeah right. yeah are they targeting like young women or is this a general statement no i mean it's a general statement um i think naturally it gravitates towards young women but mm-hmm. it is a general statement you know our um clothing we have you know clothing accessories it's you know we have unisex as well so right. um it is general but just naturally because of <laughs> so worth loving it it gravitates yeah yes it yeah. seems some, like something like a a girly thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of. I mean, yeah. not necessarily. I mean, right. I think it's a good message for everyone, but right. I didn't know if there was like a target audience or it's really just it's yeah broad, general. yeah. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. So how did you get? Because you work for them, you do their social media, is that right? Yeah, mm-hmm. oh, I help boy. them with their social media. Yeah. So Which so we'll how have did you it. We'll have like it all tagged up so find them, or did they find you? <laughs> and then how did you end up getting a position with them? So um, it's really bizarre, actually. So Erin <laughs> um, Eddy is the owner of So Worth Loving. She actually. Um, was a musician so she I found her through her music and when she started It's So Worth Loving it wasn't supposed to be what it is today Um, what she was doing was she actually put her personal address on a blog (laughs) and said hey anyone who wants to send me a shirt I'll spray paint the words So Worth Loving on it and she got much more of a response than what she thought she would Um, and it was overwhelming um, truthfully and from there she just started So Worth Loving because she saw the need of you know people needing this reminder so um, it's kind of funny how it started because it's not really safe to put your address out there like that. It's kind of a good idea. (laughs) Yeah right so um, I actually found her through her music and then from there I followed her blog um, and it just really you know from there she was just like hey you want to you know help us out a little bit and um, (laughs) that's really how it started. I found her through her music so. It is true when you connect with people online um through like instagram or whatever over time you kind of feel like you know these people mm-hmm. even if you've now by now you've probably met her i assume yeah mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but <laughs> yeah I mean, I she lives so. in Atlanta. i don't know but right. yeah yeah there are people that i follow that i feel like i know them and i'll mm-hmm. see pictures and i'll be like oh that's so-and-so's kid and i'm right. like i don't know these right. people you know right. what i mean but you do you can really develop a relationship with people. for real yeah it really accelerates the relationship yeah yeah i'm sitting on my what kind of music does she um does she play that would that drew you in um it's like pop is it poppy? yeah poppy yeah now does she have like a girl power message in her music or like how did so where'd she come up with so worth loving um that's a good question yeah. i i think maybe at the time I, her music is you know like um empowering, empowering. And, yeah and yeah value. um i'm not exactly sure how she came up with that exact phrase right. but her music is very empowering and um you know she i think she just saw that need of people needing to be reminded of i think at the time she was in a toxic 
environment okay. or toxic mindset herself. Mm -hmm. um, and she needed that. So um, I think that's the same with almost everybody on the team. Like that's how we gravitated towards this, you know, company because at the time, even for myself at the time, when I came across this, I needed that reminder myself. Mm -hmm. So um, I think Isn't it's just... amazing. Like just something so it's seemingly so simple mm -hmm. has such a major impact. Yeah. On yeah. It. it just kind of goes back to the core. Like we're always saying, when you get the opportunity to encourage someone, by all means, encourage it. it. And that's what this is. Just a simple little, little thing. And I reminded, I went to the website real quick because I, I, I was trying to remember what the logo was. And the logo, it says so much. So whoever came up with this, just straight genius. Mm -hmm. It's half a diamond and half a heart. Mm -hmm. So like right there, just in that logo, like you can see, you know, it, the statement. You can see yeah. the mission statement on it. That's just so amazing. It's such a neat uh Neat company, neat concept behind it. So do they have a mission statement? Yeah, so they're, really their whole um, goal is to bridge the gap between talking about self-worth and not talking about self-worth, really. Oh, yeah. That's just their goal to do that. Because how many people, you know, talk about their circumstances or they don't because they're, you know, scared to. But then once you hear the stories and hear that other people are in the same place as you or they've been in the same place as you, you're like, oh, I'm not alone, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so really, that's just the gist of what they want to do is just to make people feel less alone. So, that's so yeah, cool. it's it's neat, you know, the like it's amazing how much commonality you'll find in people's stories. Yeah. If you just share just a little bit about it. and yeah. Get to know them. That's, that's, yeah. I mean, I kind I like this concept. It is cool. Yeah. It's, if you don't follow them on social media, is it just so worth loving? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, that's, so I mean, worth that's their yeah. Instagram yeah, we'll have all handle. The links yeah. Facebook, so it is Instagram. cool. You're scrolling through, you see all the stuff that you always follow. And then you just see like, like someone just wearing a t-shirt and the t-shirt says so worth loving. And it, I don't and know. The it's very the simplicity of the message. Very simple. I guess that's the way. And it's very sweet. And mm -hmm. it's just kind of like, oh, what is this company? They're doing cool stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to see one of the, or you said she was. People were sending her t-shirts and she was spray painting them. Yeah, so with I'm stencils. She had like a stencil yeah. she was spray painting yeah. through it. It was really How? cool. I yeah. bet it probably came out really, really yeah, neat. Yeah, it was and, really cool. Uh, is she trying to mimic that? I'm looking at some of the things on the, on the store now. All the apparel. Uh, there's a neat little happy face there. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it says, love you, love people. Love you, love people. Yeah. That's, that's lots of fun. I like that. It's really neat conversation starters. I think one of the things, too, when I'm starting to... Uh, in my own life, I'm wearing things that more like more apparel that kind of demonstrates my faith. And mm -hmm. so there's a message in the, a lot of the clothing that I wear. And I'm finding myself having random conversations or someone commenting on the shirt. I can only imagine like this message too. Yeah. Like just wearing it. Someone would say, yeah, I'm only in a, like just random right. walk arounds happens quite frequently. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, opens up for more conversation. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's so simple. I mm -hmm. hope she trademarked some of this. <laughs> 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 <She did. laughs> it's funny. We're about to come out with our own right. mind. Yeah. Uh, super worth loving <laughs> you're more worth loving than us. <laughs> oh my gosh uh, well, well we won't tell her that yeah. i'm gonna go right now and start it's gonna be website. like a half diamond half heart instead yeah, of half heart double. yeah yeah right. it's totally different <laughs> right absolutely different that's, that's a sapphire not a diamond. <laughs> so is there something people can do if they're like oh this company looks really cool i want to get involved or i want to like help with their mission so right now we we don't have a set program. That's something I'm sure it will happen in the future. But um, a lot of our, we call our So Worth Loving family, um, <laughs> our oh. So Worth Loving family, um, you know, they just share the message on social media. That's really how we've grown so much. Um, you know, we have the hashtag SWL family. Um, it's really, you know, you get involved by sharing the message and, you know, wearing the gear, talking about it. Um, we even um, share people's stories on our blog so people can submit their story um, and we can share that on the blog as well. So um, that's really how people can get involved right now is, you know, just sharing the message. It's so. really just help spread the word mm -hmm. of this positive message, like the post, share the post, right. wear the apparel, right. let people know they're super worth loving. Right. <laughs> <laughs> super worth loving. Now, I, do, I did not prep you for this, so it's okay if you don't have an answer, but do you have like yours or somebody else's story that maybe was affected greatly by this company? Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Truthfully, like I don't have one story that's my favorite. Like I, okay. every single time there's a story that comes in, I like literally am staring at the screen crying like i'm like this is so beautiful like just like the transformation in the stories a lot of the times people you know start off where they were and end up with the story of where they are now and mm -hmm. it's like completely different um 
so I don't really have one exact story okay. that I, I gravitate towards. But um, it's funny because, when, like I said, when I started helping out with them, um, there really were no stories because it was brand new company. Yeah. So, like, I've got to see this company. You, you watched the company itself grow. Yeah, yeah. Fast. So it's pretty amazing, actually. So. So people are just randomly submitting their stories. You said there's a blog, so you can mm -hmm. follow the blog. Can you find that on the website, yeah. too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I think there's just a link that you click that says blog. Yeah. Yeah. I see all kinds of, yeah, there's videos and our manifesto. There's all yeah. kinds of things going on. Uh, it's, a, it's a good, I'm sure you're getting all kinds of crazy stories. What's the general gist of someone's story? Like the conceptually, they're beaten down, run into this, and like... Just right. a veil is pulled away? Well, a lot of the times it's not necessarily um, around so worth loving. It's just really um, a lot of the stories are basically like, you know, I was at a place in my life where I didn't feel good enough mm -hmm. and then something had happened or some, you know, circumstance. It's, occasionally it's like, oh, yeah, I came across so worth loving and I right. realized. But for the most part, it's like there was Someone a circumstance. Came alongside right. them and showed them their worth. Right. Exactly, yeah. So that's a lot of the stories that we see. Um, and it's really amazing, truthfully. <laughs> like, just thinking about it, I'm I like, oh, see, my gosh. I can see the effect on <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, it's so amazing to see. So um, it's really cool. <laughs> but. Yeah, so typically, I mean, this is so not what we normally talk about. Right. Like, we normally right, talk yeah. about food, fitness, and faith. Right. It's kind of like our little mantra. But when we were, I was meeting up with Melissa not that long ago, and I was like, you know what, we should really talk about whatever the soul worth loving is, because mm -hmm. it's like this uh, mysterious thing that you do that nobody really knows <laughs> right. about, you know, like we, everyone knows Melissa's involved in it. But I love the simplicity of the mm -hmm. message of like, it's not like um, you have to do something or donate money or really right. um, give any time. It's really just let someone know that mm -hmm. they are worth it. They are worth loving. They are worth your time. They are worth your smile, your hello, your greet. You know what uh, I mean? Like, I like just it. to treat people kindly. Live yeah. life like a Walmart greeter. Stop. Your smile, <laughs> your hello. And it's, it's okay. Could you but, imagine <laughs> a, a Walmart <laughs> greeting wearing a so worth loving shirt? Hey. Out stickers. <laughs> <laughs> That's, the <next. laughs> That's the next thing. What's her name? Erin. Erin, you need to make stickers for this whole thing. <laughs> yeah. So people can hand out so worth loving stickers. I mean, I did see they have like the logo sticker, so. Maybe we'll have to yeah. pull that out, put that on the laptop, go in there. But I mean, that's I mean, that's a, a, when you boil it down to you're you're in a very unique position, mm -hmm. specifically dealing with social media because these stories are coming through to you, and I'm sure um, you, you know you're spitting those things out there uh, to see people's lives turn around when someone, and I'm gonna guess in most cases someone came alongside them or mm -hmm. something ran into their life where mm -hmm. they just kind of had like they're in this dark place and they had to get shaken out of this haze yeah um so and it's you know like you said this is this in and of itself is not like a a big movement but it's a part of someone and it becomes a part of someone's mm -hmm. life uh it just is you know again we're going back to the simplicity of the statement just speaking life into people yeah and uh, you're able to do that through through the social media, <laughs> SWL family. And that, when you talk about, I can see it in your face, yeah. like and hear it in your voice. Like this is actual like a family. You've been down there mm -hmm. a few different times. Mm -hmm. so what's it like down there, like with the group? Uh, do they have it's, a um, like a storefront. So we used to. Um, okay. We don't anymore. Um, it's mainly just all online. Okay. Um, but when we had the storefront, it's really it was awesome environment. Like I <laughs> never wanted to leave because I just felt so like I belonged there. You know, did like you feel loved. I did. I did. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So um, yeah, it's just a really the team is really awesome. Um, mm -hmm. You know they we all can like relate to each other, you know, that's right. why we're a part of this because we believe in the mis mission and we, you know, want to share this um, community with other people. And mm -hmm. um, it's just really cool there. Like I, I really would love to move to Atlanta. So, when, <laughs> when you go there, are you going to this woman's house? Like where are you all meeting? I have, well, um, they did have the story, like I had said. Right. Um, so, I mean, I've been to her house. We, you know, okay. we, um, <laughs> hang out wherever really like it's it's a good time <laughs> and so the, the uh, first time i went there i was like i've never met this lady in person what am i doing right. but i mean i knew she was you know she mm -hmm. was a nice lady um but the first time i went there i stayed uh, did i i think i stayed at her house the first time no I went there. Way. yeah i think i did okay. um well, she's not putting her recommended. money where her yeah. mouth is <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny yeah but not she's, only are you staying in her house but she's letting a stranger yeah, stay yeah. In i mean house. she doesn't know right, yeah, I, flip, right. flip that script a little bit that's i think at that point, I probably was involved. It was probably like four or five 
five years that I was involved. Okay. So at that point, we we knew each you other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So and now I think I've been there like three times. Um, so now we're basically so family. How many years have you been involved with them? Then? Seven and a half years. They've been wow. a company for seven and a half years. So, so you were right on yeah. from the get go. Yeah, yeah. How did you see them? Like, is it just a social media thing? You see, music. I know it was the I music. She said the music. Yeah. But did she like? But it had to be somewhere in there. The music transition to the so worth loving thing. She just. Like, on her social media said, hey, come on down. and Well, on her blog, she was just like, hey, let's spray paint some shirts type of thing. That's so, um, And then I don't really remember the whole transition between there being, like, because when I started um, helping with the Instagram, there were, like, I think 260 followers or something like that. Mm-hmm. Now we're up to, like, 62.3 thousand followers. Wow. But So, like, I've seen it what? grown so much. Yeah, um, that's something But else. I don't really remember the whole transition of how we got from the t- just the Tumblr <laughs> blog to, like, social Social media. I don't really yeah. remember that. Like it just happened. It just happened yeah. Right. So, um, yeah. It's, That's when you know you're hitting a groove when you have no idea how it happened. It just happened. Yeah. Like you're happens touching. You're touching. Yeah. yeah. You're touching someone in a in a cool uh, cool way. Yeah. So what do you see like the future of this like branding or this this family? What do, you, do what are some of their visions? Some of their goals for this? Uh, um, so I know there was a point where we were really involved in colleges. Like we had, um, like our, co- our college idea. campus, like crews, like people would volunteer to do that. We kind of, um, backed away from that a little bit, but I know that's definitely something we probably will be doing again, mm-hmm. um, because that was really successful. Um, really, I think that, um, I don't. I don't know if ever there'll be a store again. Yeah, I, right. I mean, and I'm guessing this is all volunteer based, right? Yeah. So mm-hmm. your role is a volunteer, mm-hmm. and everyone else in your so worth loving family, they're all volunteering mm-hmm. their time. Yeah. So that yeah. that makes it tricky. Yeah. You know, because people are still working their full time oh, yeah. jobs. Right. They have their families at home and everything. Right. So, which makes it all the cooler that they just they're are still growing, spending their time, making sure people know they're that they're worth loving because they right. care about it. Right. Right. And I'm sure every story that comes in is then multiplied by X number of other individuals who are touched by that story. And it just kind of keeps growing and, and expanding from there. I and mean, we see it on a really small scale here. Some of the, you know, people we've been able to sit down and talk to and mm-hmm. they've been able to encourage other people with their walk. Mm-hmm. This is what So Worth Loving is doing. They're encouraging individuals in their walk saying, hey, I was in that dark place. And I was like, wait, I'm in, I'm in that dark place right. right now, but they're out of it. So there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. I can definitely see value in this. Like when you mentioned like college getting in, I can definitely see that like reaching people at like, it's You're amazing. In a spot where you don't know really who you are in this world. Oh and my there's goodness. so much pressure. You can to, be like, on a college campus with 2000 people and be all alone. Yeah. Like, like that right there. I could definitely see like this kind of message or like getting into high schools. Mm-hmm. Like you see school assemblies. I'm going to start telling you what you guys need to do. <laughs> <laughs> but I can this see. This is going to be a therapy great. session for oh, you. Great. <laughs> <laughs> But I could definitely see, like, this kind of, the, just this basic message saying, hey, you know, guess what? You know, you you have value. You have mm-hmm. worth. There's something that you have that no one else has. And, and that's definitely uh, worth sharing mm-hmm. and having someone be able to pour that into them. It's so weird how, like, a, a stranger, like, you've never met them before. In the, <laughs> yeah. And their story impacts you so much. Like, and they could be saying something that you've been hearing over and over and over again, but th- somehow, some way, their story just kind of touches in mm-hmm. a special way. Yeah. That's kind of neat. Yeah, cool. I mean, I'm yeah. all in on this thing. It's, yeah. it's, so, <laughs> if you're in a dark place, we encourage you to head on over. It's so worth loving and get some you love. You are so worth loving. <laughs> and if you are not in a dark place, maybe head over to so worth loving and share some love. Yeah. I think it's just expand. I think that's exactly it. Like, doesn't matter where you're at. Take time to encourage somebody yeah. to to invest in their lives. Right. Show smiles and. And all that wonderful stuff. And not people that you know. Right. Like mm-hmm. Random, random people, people. you know, too. I mean, you could be nice to everyone. Uh, Sometimes you know the people them. that you know are harder to <laughs> right. be nice to. Not going to lie. <laughs> That's so funny. So, like, one of my favorite parts about being a part of the So Worth Loving team is that I am able to create that safe space. Like, I, I you know, I'm able to help people feel seen and heard through social media. So, like, yeah. that's, like, one of my favorite things about it because, you know, these They'll, they'll send us direct messages or they'll send us or uh, put comments on our posts and they're like, you know, I'm feeling really lost or alone right now. Mm-hmm. And like, I get to remind them, hey, listen, you're not alone. Like, we're in this yeah. together type of thing. So that's like my favorite thing about it. Yeah, I guess I didn't think about that. Yeah. Like, so being responsible, you're not just putting not posts just posting, up. but responding to you're people's. You're responding yeah. to the post because that yeah. is one of the things they say, you know, just in general, like if you want to grow, you have to respond to mm-hmm. the social media. 
I didn't think like some of the heady, heavy stuff that you might actually be running yeah. into on social. Well, that's yeah, that's a whole nother level there. Like, yeah, because you're you're going to be thrown in right in the midst of uh, of that. So you, that's yeah. a neat opportunity. Yeah, to get. it's. I mean, it's it's really great. Sometimes it's it gets really overwhelming yeah. and it's really sad sometimes. But and you know, we're not counselors. We encourage people to seek counseling. Mm-hmm. Um, we're definitely not licensed professionals. Right. Um, we just want people to know they're not alone. So um, you're encouraged. Yeah, you're professional encouragers. Right. That's, exactly. That's I, a, like that's that. I love position. it. Yeah. yeah. I'm all I'm in on that. I have to change my job title. Because <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's really all you can do through social media is uh, just you know you say hey this is that and I mean it to go to the ex- next level and counseling and all that kind of stuff. But sometimes that little note mm-hmm. is all that someone needs to just kind of keep moving on. Yeah, absolutely. Right, just want to be like, I did see you. Like, I, I was here. And, right. You know, I saw what you wrote, and I want you to know that I read it, and I love you. And, yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes people are just like, oh, somebody is on the other side of this. Right. And I thought right. I was just yeah. typing right. into the abyss, and somebody read it. You know, right. like sometimes that's enough for somebody to – just feel valued enough that you stopped and read what they wrote and responded mm-hmm. to them. Yeah. You're not just double tapping the heart. <laughs> right, right. Right. Put right. your thumbs up on it. Right. You're actually <laughs> responding to it. That's crazy. Yeah. That's so awesome. That's fun. What yeah. else you got? Well, I do have a surprise question for Melissa because, you know, we always oh. like to uh, Find throw them, about them a little bit of a curveball <laughs> okay. that has nothing to do with the interview at all. Okay. So for yours, we wanted to know if you had one <laughs> additional hour a day Oh my gosh. <laughs> not for sleep. Money's not an issue. You just have one free hour every day just for Miss Melissa. What do you do? Oh my gosh. Um I'd probably Wow, I don't know. That's so tough. <laughs> that is I'd, a heady question. Well, There's can I do multiple things? You have an hour. Okay. So I mean <laughs> it depends. I mean, I don't know. How long is your activity? <laughs> is it, is it like- are we specifying is it one hour like today you get one and right one and then tomorrow hour, or something tomorrow else you're right, back to give normal, us a few <laughs> okay so i'd probably just like read and like write <laughs> I, <laughs> I, knew she was gonna say I would read a book, read a I book or write i like i used to write poetry right. all the time and i don't write anymore i really want to write a book um really what yeah do you want your book to be about about my life okay yeah oh, so my. Um, the triplet. You, yeah. it, it, it <laughs> the obviously, triplet. it would have to be a trilogy. Yeah. Uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Um, now, so, is this your life, like your real life, or is this going to be like, uh, like uh, what do call life. it? And My real life. It'll be three kids on the front, but the two will be in the background, and Miss <laughs> Melissa will be standing up front. <laughs> with, the, with the arms crossed, like, I think right that's there. a like, band cover. I don't, I don't <laughs> think that's a band cover. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Maybe we can okay, start a band. So you're going to read <laughs> yeah. and write. Right. Read and write. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, an and my hour. and my front porch because that's my favorite part of my house. So okay. you have yeah. a front porch, I do, and you use it. Yeah, know, it's all like seen her new it's, house yet. It's no, um haven't. like closed in. Yeah. yeah, so it's like cozy in there. So it's like a like a screened in porch kind of. No, uh, there are sun windows. Porch? Sun the, porch. Yeah, 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 sun porch. Yeah. I guess that's what you call it. Yeah. Do you sit out there and drink coffee and and stare into like just yeah. the nothingness and just let read it be. a book? Yeah. Read what kind of books do you like to read? I, I like to re- read books that are like why people think the way they do type of oh, books. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, psych- psychological yeah. Type yeah. Books. I don't really like like novels or anything because that's just too much, too much drama in novels. <laughs> yeah, like the Enneagram books. You're yeah, into those right yeah, now. yeah. Okay, yep, that's what I'm into. That's a hot topic right now. Yep. Enneagrams. Yeah, is that the number thing? Yeah, yes. Like the one through the personality eight. Personality numbers. Mm-hmm. I think it's what one are the nine? One through nine. nine. Mm-hmm. Tells you yep. how much I know. Yeah, I think I'm an eight. I don't know what it is. Do you know mm-hmm. what the numbers are off the top of your head? Or I don't. Not? Do you know no. who you are? I'm a two. You're a two. Mm-hmm. What is a two? Like a helper type, type of person. Shocking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. How did that came out to be. So you're going to read more and write. I like that idea, right? So, uh, how much time do you think you spend with So Worth Loving on their social media page? Uh, on average, per day, an hour, half hour. More time. Uh, than it's like all day, husband. off and on. More, more time you want your husband to know. <laughs> yeah. We're not going to answer this question. <laughs> no, off and on, all day, really. Like, yeah. um, just when it hits and pops yeah. up and everything. Yeah, when I get notifications. Yeah. And I'm assuming you guys post at least once a day, mm-hmm. multiple times yeah. a day. Yeah. Right. Yeah, some days more than others. And now, what kind of things are you posting? Encouragement. Yeah. You know, so every once in a while, we'll like promote our clothing right. um but for the most part we just really encourage other people and create that safe space so like quotes images stuff yeah. like that yeah mm-hmm. yeah a lot of the time our images um especially when we have like new um, apparel the images will be 
right. with that apparel in it. Yeah. Uh, but we're not like necessarily promoting that. So. But it's cute. They'll have a picture of you know like a teenage girl wearing the so worth loving shirt, and she's you know like it. They're very cute. They're very yeah. well done. Yeah. You follow us? Of course, oh. I follow you. <laughs> Even if I did follow, I probably wouldn't see that much. I'm not. I'm on Instagram. Are you on Facebook too? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't see those things, but I'm gonna start following now. Awesome. Because I feel like I'm worth loving. You, you are loving. absolutely, Sam. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's so fish- good at her job. She's so good. I was just fishing for a compliment. There. It, it came out just totally perfect. So uh, we'll we'll have all those tags. I guess you just search "so worth loving" on mm-hmm. Instagram, "so worth loving" on Facebook, and they'll pop up. Now. Here's a random question you might not have an answer. Are there any competitors in your encouragement field? Like someone you really want to take down? <laughs> no. We don't ever want to take anyone down who wants to encourage other people. <laughs> Sounds like you're going into politics as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's like there's like another competing shirt company. Like, you're okay. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Down. <laughs> you're okay. I love it. That's, a, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> there. We'll have the you're okay company. A little more than okay. <laughs> yeah. Just better than okay. Right. You are decent. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. All right, so what else we got? We're wrapping up. I think we're wrapping up. I think we just sold you at least a couple t-shirts. Oh, so awesome. we'll take our uh, 10 cent commission on the oh, way out yeah. the door. Okay. There. We'll sign the contract but, after uh, we're done. <laughs> I definitely strongly encourage... Everyone to, one, check out SoWorthLoving.com. Check out their, their mission statement, what they're doing, and the I think the simplicity of the whole thing. Like, we're all in on encouragement. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, again, I was out running the other day at, locally in our neighborhood. Ran into a couple other runners. One, like, I always try to give, like, that big smile nod. Like, yeah, we're out here. We're doing it. We're yeah. doing it. And uh, ran past one person, and they wanted nothing to do with me. They were... They were worth loving. <laughs> but Maybe apparent, not so. Apparently <laughs> from a distance. <laughs> and then I ran into another person like, yeah, like just gave a big smile. And they're like, yeah, like it just changed things. It's amazing. Like awesome. you can do that anywhere mm-hmm. yep. you go except for maybe down the shore when it's really super crazy busy and you just want to get out like, shoulder, shoulder just crazy. look down right. and walk put your head keep going and there. so <laughs> check out so worth loving.com look, search on instagram and facebook for are you guys like twitter too mm-hmm. yep so worth loving uh we'll have all those links in uh in the probably on our social media page you'll be able to uh follow out there send a message to melissa and say hey i know this is you <laughs> And uh, I really it's it. more than just me, though. It is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Look at that De- deflection already. Yeah. <laughs> but if they want to message Melissa specifically, they can do that. Yeah, right? we'll tag, yeah, we'll absolutely. Tag, we'll tag you up your in that too. Instagram yeah. and stuff, and yeah, that's great. Yeah. yeah, we'll have that all all sorted out. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. This is a nice, sweet, uh, short, sweet, and to the point. Yeah. To the point. I mean, what what more could we possibly want? But yeah, in all seriousness, though, if you are struggling, oh yeah, um, you know, reach out. You can reach out to us. You can reach out to Melissa. Mm-hmm. You can reach out to So Worth Loving. You can reach out to your local church. Like, there's nothing worse than sitting in misery alone. Mm-hmm. So we encourage you very much to reach out. Absolutely. Yeah, and you're you're not alone. Like, you're not. You know, the situation might be unique to you, but there's someone else out there who's been through it and is on the other side of the tunnel on the yeah. side of the bridge. Or at least can listen to it. Oh, right. You know what I mean? And sometimes yeah. that's just worth getting it out. Yeah. yeah definitely. Alright, so that's it. We're done. We're done. We're yeah. done. That's it. Make sure you follow all the uh, links. Get uh, get your So Worth Loving t-shirt. Uh, send it to Melissa. She'll spray paint it for you. <laughs> I'll do that. Absolutely. Yeah, totally. <laughs> we'll put she got no problem. Yeah, yeah we'll, no, totally. We'll send her address. We'll put her home address <laughs> on our social media. Don't do media. that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put their Stop address on it. <laughs> Stop on by for some coffee. We'll have a yeah. good time, right? <laughs>